I don't think I have the eyesight and coordination and skills to do it. You could perhaps develop the skills if you started at an earlier age. But I'm unlikely to do F1D. But it is the top of the indoor duration. The rubber itself is a very uh, important thing. There, there, it's like wine. Uh, there's a, a 599 rubber, which is the, the crown jewel of rubbers. Uh, it's made records all over. And that one year, that one May edition of rubber is, is the stuff that everybody wants. We sort of joke around who has uh, what rubber and we try to uh, negotiate rubber away from other friends or, or colleagues in, in this. And we do collect rubber like it's a fine wine. It's pretty hard to see all the mechanisms, but you see when the torque goes up, see how the blade opens up to a higher pitch? And then when the torque on the motor starts going down, it goes to a lower pitch. We got tiny screw adjustments and little springs that we make here and stuff. How fast do you estimate it's going? I, I would guess about one mile an hour. And it can hang up there how long? Uh, full motor, about 36 minutes. By full motor, you mean 1,600 wines? Yeah. yeah. Notice your center sections are much smaller than mine. It, it, it didn't like that long, long section. It has a rubber band on, on the propeller that causes it to change diameter in flight. So it's just like the constant speed propeller on a complex airplane. Uh, so your, uh, it's going to match the torque of the rubber motor so that you're able to be, in this case, produce a more continuous thrust throughout the flight. So for any, uh, any power setting, it's within that diameter range it is able to produce the same thrust. Now, of course, once you hit the upper and lower limits, then that's where your climb and descent are supposed to occur. So what's the purpose of your propeller being awkward like that? It changes diameter in flight, so it 